Now that we understand how to build sites and add devices, let's fast forward to the DevNet Sandbox and modify configurations on a pre-built, known good network. We'll be using DNA Center templates extensively in this module. The language used is the Velocity Template Language, or VTL. Those who have worked with Apache web servers may be familiar with it. I've assembled a tool that allows you to learn VTL offline without DNA Center. Then, we'll dive into some template operations. We'll first build some templates and render them. This basically means we'll add them in DNA Center and run a test simulation. If the simulation output looks good, we can commit the template into the built-in version control system and deploy it to a test device. Okay, so you know what VTL stands for. What does it do? As a text templating language, VTL is very similar to Jinja 2 in its theory and operation. The user or calling program provides some variables, renders a template, then displays or otherwise processes the resulting text. Jinja 2 has tight integration with Python and apps written in Python such as Ansible and Nornir. VTL, in addition to being consumed mostly on Apache web servers, integrates nicely with Java. Don't worry, I won't make you write any Java code in this course. Like any good templating language, VTL supports basic programming constructs like if statements, for loops, and comments. We'll keep things simple in this course, but let's take a look at VTL code next. Here's a simple example. First, I'm showing some variables arranged in YAML format just for display purposes. This relatively complex structure is a nested dictionary whereby the subcomponents have values that are booleans, lists, and strings. A VTL template that would render a simple Cisco IOS configuration for these variables is shown next. Comments in VTL begin with two hash marks. Like Jinja 2, the if else statement is relatively easy to understand, and you can reference variables in the hierarchy using the dot notation shown. Wrap the Boolean expression in parentheses for evaluation. In this case, NTP authentication should be enabled given our YAML variables. To program a for loop, use the for each keyword with the loop's logic in parentheses. VTL should add two lines to the snippet, one for each NTP server defined in the variables. You might be wondering how you can practice with VTL to gain proficiency. I'll show you how in the next clip.